Welcome to one more edition of Politics and Radam Egberto Will is your host. Thank you so kindly for being a part of our show. We have a great person to speak with today, Sandra Cisneros Peters. She is in Nevada, and something special happened in Nevada. You know, before you start, we've been talking about this, Sandra, that if you want to make a change, you have to make a change from within and like a virus expands. So Sandra Cisneros Peters out of Nevada. First of all, tell me a little bit about, about yourself. Okay, so let me just clarify. I'm actually in Houston and I went to work in Nevada for the Bernie campaign in 2020. Okay. Yeah. Correct. So, yeah. <laughs> so tell me what happened in Nevada. Um, so, I mean, we all saw the videos in 16, right, of the aggression that the party insiders had towards progressives and Bernie Kraft. Um, and so we really saw like the building, like the winds that we saw, like we just heard about, like that has been building since back then, like DFAers have been on the ground, like building all kinds of like, you know, support of like multi like pronged. It was beautiful to see. Now, uh, so I think what happened in Nevada was that we had a takeover of the entire state party system by progressives is that correct uh-huh yeah they won the what there was five or six elections and they right. won all of them they swept it and now they're in full control of the party <laughs> yep <laughs> it's beautiful right like this yeah is what i we're mean working towards i mean for a long time we've been saying that you know i mean people have been wondering whether they should work whether progressives should work within the Democratic Party, outside of the Democratic Party. But since there is a structure already there, mm -hmm. it seems like uh, just like, let's say, the Tea Party worked hard to get their influence within the Republican Party, progressives needed to do the same thing for to pass people-centric policies, don't you think? No, I agree. I mean, I understand people's um, like hesitation to work within a party that we know is really antagonistic towards us, uh, but it's there and it's not going away. So why don't we put ourselves in those positions, right? Like, that's just the way I see it. Oh, I, I, absolutely. So, and um, so when you went over there, I was in Nevada as well. When when Bernie won, I was a Bernie. Um, uh, I I I worked in the Spanish community, in the Latin community for Bernie out there for I don't know for probably three four days when that uh -huh. big push was on, and we went to that bar and watched as the returns came in, and it was yeah. like a real progressive win by a landslide in a western state. It was yeah. it was a blast. Were you there for that as well, or? Yeah, yeah. Um, I was there. I believe I started like the very the beginning of February, right. up until like the winds. Yeah, yeah. Up until the winds. And you could feel it. Like you could see all the work that was being done on the ground. Like it wasn't just you know get out the vote work. Like like we weren't there to just tell people, oh, you have to vote for this candidate because we know better than you. It's like no. Were like people were explaining like this is you know what we're fighting for and you should join us <laughs> and you you felt it like I saw um like DSAers on the ground were like hitting the strip and like they were labor uh, organizing so it was yeah it was amazing and you know I, I think that is something for actually the, the party in general to learn because if you take a look at the 81 million people who voted for Biden in this election you don't get 81 million people when Hillary only got 67 or so you don't get that huge increase if you didn't have all these people on the ground really saying hey we're going to make things happen for you this time so please come out and vote and the fact that you get that turn in Nevada and like you said I remember being there as well. It was a different scenario. People were actually not just saying, we are here for the vote. It was, we are here to organize, just like you guys have been doing for a long time. Yeah, I mean, I think that's where the power is built. Like we are, we are so powerful when we, when we get together because we're all going through like some of the same types of struggles. So it's just about, you know, getting together and like pushing back. And you know what, uh, a very good job is being done and I, I i have you know i'm a i'm a member of just about all these different progressive organizations as well including dsa and mm -hmm. I, I i must say that uh what i saw uh here even here in houston 
I saw DSA all over every neighborhood, whether it be Latino neighborhood, whether it, like I said, they were in the barrios, they were in the ghettos, they were in, in the Appalachian parts of, uh, of Houston as well. So <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. I mean, so it was great seeing performance. And I think Nevada should give every part of the, of every party a pause because that is what we call people power, not establishment power, but people power. Give me your final thoughts. Uh, that was just really good news. <laughs> Waking up to read that, I, was, I wasn't surprised because we know like all the work that they've been doing. So it's not a surprise that they're seeing these ones, but it was still, oh, made, it makes your heart like <laughs> grow bigger. <laughs> well, let me tell you folks, we're speaking to Sandra Cisneros Peters, a progressive activist here in Houston who played a big part of the Bernie Sanders <laughs> win in Nevada. And I, I needed to speak to somebody who was in Nevada when this all started. And now the progressives are in charge of the party in Nevada. Thank you so kindly for having been on Politics and Right. Thank you. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.